Welcome back everybody to another blog. Uh, I'm going to step away a little bit from what's new in Business Central. So I want to go back to some of the basic things that administrators can uh, manage and you know control of um, it within Business Central. Uh, one of those one of those uh, a feature that is available for pretty much any user in Business Central uh, is called inspect pages in data. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure is that it's great to have all the information to, um, you know, research, debug, finding a solution is inspect pages and data. So you can actually see the underlying record underneath that may not be necessarily exposed to the page. I'm going to show you some examples of those. And from the administrator standpoint, there's areas that you may not want to do that. For example, you know, giving out the unit uh, profit or uh, item profit uh, to all the users. So you could hide that uh, potentially uh, where they can see the all the available fields, but not necessarily see um, the underlying records as well. So let me show you that uh, very briefly. So you, there's multiple ways to get access to the inspect page. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the uh, page itself. So let's take a look at the item card, which is, you know, that has uh, records in there, uh, profit information on the item card that you may not want to be uh, visible. So multiple ways to access that. You can do control alt uh, F1 on your keyboard. So that uh, puts, you know, brings up the page inspection uh, on the right hand side as a column. And then the other option is I'm going to move my my face here. Oops, my apologies. So I'm going to move my um, <laughs> my cloud. So uh, the other option is clicking this question mark here and down below called inspe uh, help and support. Um, when you click on help and support, you scroll down just a little bit. You see inspect pages and data, and that will take you to the same thing, right? And uh, Control Alt F1, it's been around for a while. Uh, that's probably something that I would use to quickly access the um, uh, page inspection uh, quickly for that particular record. So let's talk about that really quick. So page inspection allows you to see the table fields that are not necessarily exposed uh, on the page itself. Um, and of course, it also allows you to see what kind of extensions that are part of that um, page uh, or, or even table itself. So for example, system application, uh, extension image analyzer, base application, those things are very common. And, and of course, there's another one called sales and inventory forecast. So if there's extensions against that page um, uh, or just a uh, table, uh, so you see extends page and then extends table, then uh, you can see that. So um, if you're unsure what field is out of the box or you're unsure what's which extension that belongs to, page ins inspection allows you to have that visibility. Um, so it also allows you to drill down to the table. So there's a link here called view table. So you can see the records um, underneath that. So it opens up a different menu and you know you log in and um, you know, at that point in time, you can see the, the underlying record. So uh, once it loads up here, you can see uh, all the items in a list. So while that's coming up, I do want to go back to the table fields here. Uh, there are fields in here that not necessarily available or visible. So we'll take a look at that before I jump. There you go. So I see my full list of items. Basically, it's just a list of items, um, but the, in the table structure. So I can't click and open these. These are just table. Um, you can also change the list view as well, rather than tall tiles. So you can see, and this is again, just table uh, information. So going back to, let me close this out, going back to the page inspection, let me give you a few examples. So for, for example, you see inventory here uh, on the items itself. Uh, they are, I can show less or show more just to see all the pages. Um, they are things in here that is not necessarily available to be viewed. One of those, I'm going to use it as an example, is profit percent. Now you could hide it from the role and you can even extend it and not make it visible um, for the page from the page perspective. However, 
Um, if the person does have the option to do page inspection, they could still see that, right? They may not be available from the role, may not be available from the page or, 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 or profile, but as a user, I can still see that visibility. I may not have an option to add that field because you've extended it. Um, but as a user, if I have access to the information or ins inspection, I can see a little bit more information around that. Uh, for example, um, you know, profit percent and all the tables, uh, I mean, all that table, all the fields within that table will be visible here. Um, so you may want to hide that, right? From an administrator standpoint, you may want to limit people from seeing everything else um, because you just want them to give them the page and give them the tool that they need, but not necessarily give them all the underlying records. Um, you, of course, you can do that with uh, uh, permission sets and so forth, but to make it easy for you, rather than having that specific detail, um, still be able for them to do their job, uh, you can hide this, right? Uh, there's a few things that you can do uh, to do that. So let me go ahead and move out from here and navigate to permissions or users. Okay, I, I can go to permission sets as well, but I'm gonna use uh, as a user. So if I go back to um, uh, users list here, I guess not back because I haven't been there yet. Now I'm there. So let's take a look at the BC user and this BC, BC user. Uh, so that page inspection is controlled by a group called D365 Troubleshoot or Troubleshoot Tools. Within that page or within this permission set, we can take a look at uh, a few tables here that's going to allow you to zoom. So this one right here is a, uh, object 5330. In the old days, it used to be called zoom because you can see all the details. Um, and it sounds like they still called it the same. So tools and zoom. Uh, if they have the execute, the user can see the page inspection. So if I go ahead and jump into the page user, for example, uh, uh, user, user's perspective. So if I go to items and let's drill down to this record, I can do control alt F1. See, I, I can see all the details around that. So I can see all the information, right? So going back to the, uh, from an uh, admin perspective, from the, uh, security admin perspective, I can go ahead and make sure that I can remove this permission. So if I remove this permission, just delete it from this user, back out, and I can jump back to the user here. Oh, not user, this one right here. So if I back all the way out, and then I think it, it's pretty instantaneous. Um, I can go ahead and do a control. Oh, let me get to the record here. It's still there. So oh, it's, it, it's, I think it's in the middle of it, uh, removing. So if I go back out, let's try that again. One. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you still see some of the records. So let me go ahead and, and just refresh the page. So let's go back to the items. Maybe I didn't uh, move away from, from that user. Okay, so I think I did. So we go back here, Alt F1. There you go. So as you can see, I no longer have all the details uh, from here. So I can see that the, the page is called item card and the, in the table that supports that is the item table, but all the additional details is no longer there. So in essence, as a as an administrator, you can you you can remove that functionality or remove that permission that allows the user to see all the table details. Uh, if you want to limit them from seeing all the you know information, uh, sensitive information that you don't need them to see, rather than trying to um, you know set the permission and hide specific field. And you don't need to see them. You know, you don't need them to see the uh, field. You can go ahead and just remove that page inspection. Re of course, there's different ways to do that. There's different ways to hide certain fields. You know, obviously, you can still use the permission. But this is another quick and easy way 
for people to not see the underlying record from a user uh, experience, a UI -ish, uh, perspective. So um, if you have any questions, leave a comment uh, below. Uh, if you like the video, um, you know, like the video. If you if there's anything that I miss, make a you know leave some comment. If you want additional details of the other objects that controls this, you can uh, hit the link below to get to the uh, blog directly um, as well. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you like my content, subscribe to my content. It really helps me, um, you know, put out more content that people are, you know, uh, find this helpful. So thanks again, everybody, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,